I go down. To, I rarely go to the downtown area, but uh, I, oh yeah. So what was I saying? Rambo Four is, is it's a good movie. It's not you know it's not great. It's not the best movie, but it's good. It's a it's a it's a it's a good movie. It's a solid movie. So I wanted to show it to my wife. I'm like, but she hasn't seen Rambo One, Two, or Three. And and one of the cool things about watching Rambo Four is you know that's him 20 years after Rambo Three. It's pretty cool. So. I've been looking around for Rambo 1, 2, and 3, going to Blockbuster and other places, and it's nowhere to be found. And then I found this one place, and they have it, so I ordered, uh, actually, I ordered it from them, and then they called me back the next day and said, oh, we already had it, and we just found it in our, you know, uh, in our shelves or whatever. So I'm going to go pick up Rambo 1, 2, and 3. And they sell Rambo 4 there as well, so I could, nah, I might just rent Rambo 4. I'll buy 1, 2, and 3 because it's not for rent anywhere, and then I'll just rent Rambo 4. That is the plan. Oh. Yeah, it's just a, it's a cool shop. It's like a huge kind of a, I don't know what it is. It's like a market. It's, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a flea market, but it's also, they have computer stuff as well. They don't have computers, but they got like m mice and uh, speakers and keyboards and just little things four computers and they have a lot of games at really low prices and then, and it's the so far it's the best they have the best library of old DVDs that I've seen uh, anywhere yeah the best oh here it is this is the place right here this is like a big and it's got like tons of like cheap shit like notebooks and paper crap and pencils and crap Okay, so we're to park. Right. I'm guessing that's a sign explaining why not to park there. So why do these guys park so way out in the middle of the road like that? It's odd. No, if I take that ramp, I can go to the left. That's perfect. Huh. Well, screw this. Screw this? I'm going home. How about I just be like the only person to park here? That, that's uh, very stupid of me. <laughs> it must be a safe place to park since absolutely no one else is parking there. Um, yeah, so let's go get Rambo, one, two, three. Yeah, I'll show you guys this place. I'll walk in with my helmet on, see if anybody tackles me, calls me a terrorist. See, it's just a, it's mainly, it's like, you know, it's like a Watson, it's like a shopper's drug mart. It's like a drugstore, candy, C DVD, CDs, tons. So I got all that. It's all DVD, CDs, CDs over there. And then once you go upstairs, it's like computer stuff and games and stuff. And <laughs> the workers don't care. I've got to, you know, you're totally not allowed to film inside stores. And the worker looks right at me. I'm wearing a full, full, full-sized helmet with a camera that's sticking in my face, and people are just like, ah, that's alright. <laughs> These are all games, mostly online games. Lots of online games, China, and they all cost like a buck each because you got to pay. It's the monthly fee where they make their money off of. Even WoW in Taiwan, if you want to go and buy a new copy of WoW, costs like a dollar, and then they make the money off the monthly subscriptions. They can't charge anything for it. They can't. Not like in America where they charge 50 bucks for the game, and then you pay monthly as well because um, it's uh, 10 dollars, 12 bucks, 12 bucks. Um, yeah, they can't charge anything because all the other online games don't charge anything, so. Yep. Anyways, I'm gonna get my Rambo.